Beer's family, from time to time you'll see me use this stool, is that, uh, did you ever hear, maybe I've talked to you about this before, there's a <clears throat> disease called spinal stenosis. Did you ever hear that? Okay, I have it. So, what happens is that when I stand for a long period of time, it hits my diaphragm, and the diaphragm then causes me to be short of breath, and then it's hard for me to give the homily. So what I do when I sit down, I use like what Jesus used to do when he would get in a boat and go out to sea. So just think about that. We're at the, the Genesaret Sea, and I'm in my boat, and I'm talking to you. <laughs> now, the good news about it is there's treatment. I have a wonderful doctor from a, among you who's working with me. It's not terminal or any of those things. It's inconvenient. That's what it is. So I just want you to know what's happening, so that's when I do things. And there's absolutely nothing to worry about. It's what they call an old person's disease, and I qualify. <laughs> okay. Now, I was excited to see you today and to share with you the thoughts, because this is complicated today, and there are certain aspects that are important for you to know. Do you remember this phrase? I come to give you a new commandment. Is that familiar to you? Okay, what is that new commandment? Okay, that's true. He started out perfectly. And remember the perfection of that is found in John where he says to us, love others as I have loved you. You're with me so far. I hope that you, those of you nap during the reading so that you could pay attention during the homily. This is important to me. And this, this information is important for your future and for your future spirituality. The new part of the commandment was this. You shall love your enemies. Now, when the people heard this, they were more than a little upset. This was extremely hard to hear. Part of the history, and you know it, Israel was a small nation. They were beat up by everybody around them, everybody. Now, occasionally there was Remember when Joshua fit the battle of Jericho and the wall came tumbling down? The problem was they put the walls back up. It didn't stop anything. They didn't win the war, they won the battle, that's all. They were taken to Babylon. They were in Egypt. All of these places they struggled. And when Jesus spoke these words to them, he says, what are you telling us? Love your enemies. And then he begins his explanation about what that is about. And he tells us that when we don't love, what we don't, we don't plant a future, but what we plant is death. Because hate is toxic. And it hits every part of our body and our soul. It takes an enormous amount of energy. Jesus told them, I know exactly how you feel. I know exactly how you feel. And in order to prove that to them, he goes all the way through this experience that he died on the cross. And he didn't take anybody off the hook. But what did he tell the people who were persecuting him? He said, forgive them for they know not what they do. So he took the power from their hands and gave it back to himself. This is very, very powerful. Now, in our modern era, we know a person, and there's a movie on yesterday, if any of you watched it, about Gandhi. 
What is the one thing that you know about Gandhi? Nonviolence. Nonviolence. Because he said the seed of violence, the next wave of it is planted every time you act in that way. You plant the seeds of revenge. And revenge further goes to hatred and all of the other things that happen when we hate something. Now, notice, notice, both Jesus and both Gandhi died in a violent way. Both of them. Both of them. I remember as a young person listening to the radio, I remember this stuff on the radio, and then when India became its own democracy. <coughs> Those are all of the things that Gandhi wished for. But notice this. Both of them died of a violent action, yet their message this day is still being given. And you know what? The murderers of Jesus, the murderers of Gandhi, I'll bet you nobody in this room knows their name. They don't know their name. Now, there may be an astute historian here who will tell you his name. But the issue is it's not a household name. But what is a household name? Jesus. Gandhi. Even though they died of violence, violence did not have the last answer. And that's at the heart of what we're talking about today. So, I want you to listen to these words. Back during the season of Advent and Lent and Christmas, these are the words that are used, talking about Jesus. Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father forever, Prince of Peace. Nowhere in that proclamation is the word warrior, general, brigadier general, none of those things. Wonder counselor, God hero, father forever, prince of peace. And the message that follows, similar to what we heard in 1 Corinthians 13, listen to this from Paul. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. If possible, on your part, live in peace with all. <coughs> Excuse me. And he says to them, beloved, and he uses this term purposely to remind them that they are persons who are loved. And persons who are loved should respond with love. And he makes that very clear. This is also not a request. This is a commandment that you respond in love. It says, beloved, do not look for revenge and leave room for the wrath because Jesus reminds them that vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Rather, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by doing so, you will heap burning coals upon his head. Do not be conquered by evil, but conquer evil with good, choosing to love, choosing to love. And that message has come down to us this day over this 2,000 years. The message sputters. 
the message has difficulties. But that's why the church reminds us today of this particular experience and the struggle of the people of Israel with this message. We're not blaming them for anything that goes nowhere. What we are doing, though, is saying there's a larger picture here. Jesus gave us the picture, and he gave us the way to deal with it. And that's the phrase that I use with you over and over again. I rephrased it by saying the choice to do one loving act at a time. Because wherever there is love, there is God. And the chance for us to make a good decision will be better when we choose to love. That's what we're after today. This is not an easy lesson. Because I told you before, as going through my life too as a priest, that I've met people where sometimes I thought in my head, well, I want them to get to heaven, but maybe sooner rather than later. All of us kind of have those feelings sometimes, and that's very normal, but we always have to act on love. We have to know that that's wrong and incorrect because while we're hurting somebody else, this is key, while we're hurting somebody else, the very God that we worship is loving that person. Do I want to be a part of the hurt? Do I want to be part of the love that is taking place there? And sometimes that means I have to shut my mouth. I have to shut it. Because what comes out of it is not worthy to be in my mouth at all. It's not worthy to be there. Dearest family, you and I are in this together. The reason we're here on Sunday is to encourage each other when messages are good as well as tough. And this is a tough one. This is hard. But if we don't, if we don't do this, we can't expect to have joy and peace in our life that is described in 1 Corinthians 13, or what is described here. Through this process, love will conquer all evil. And Jesus, with raising from the dead, shows us that that is possible. Remembering also the persons who killed Gandhi, the persons who killed Jesus, they're not household names because they don't deserve to have household names. But despite that, God would say to them, forgive them for they know not what they do. May we carry that spirit with us so that this message that is repeated to us today becomes alive in our heart and that we make choices that furthers God's message of peace, of joy, of comfort, of affirmation, of acceptance. That's what makes for a peaceful world.